Hey, what is going on guys? So today I just wanted to share with you my completed Tamotu kit here from Kotobukiya. A really super fun kit and I'm really happy with how this turned out. If you guys haven't seen the couple of, sort of not exactly sort of work in progress videos on this, they weren't labeled that way anyway, but I did do a, a couple of videos that were essentially work in progress videos for this. Uh, the first video was uh, just about how to plug the holes on this. So I showed you guys that there was just, you know, as is typical with a lot of Kotobukiya kits and then some Bandai kits as well too. Uh, it has a lot of like attachment points all over the place. Uh, so I just did a quick video showing about uh, plugging those holes and then I covered up uh, most of them there as well with uh, some foot wedge parts on there. And then the other kind of work in progress video sort of on this was just uh, doing the camo painting. So testing out the cloud camo masking tape from HiQ Parts. Uh, so check those videos out if you guys haven't seen those about doing those parts of this build. But here is what it looks like when it's all put together. Uh, after doing the camo painting on that, basically it was just a matter of painting in all the details and stuff internally because I wanted to, uh, I, this it has a lot of really nice detail on the inside, so I wanted to be able to show that off. So that was the kind of the reason for why I wanted it to be doing this pose as well too, so that you guys could see the underside of the kit as well too. It's kind of hard to see me, you still have to kind of go down and take a look underneath, but uh, having it up in this pose, it looks like it's kind of like skidding along, like doing a dash and like up on one, wheel like that uh, just allows you to kind of see a lot of the inside by having all the legs uh, spread out and then see up underneath to see all that detail so I just uh, just uh, hand painted in all the little details and stuff in there just with some Tamiya enamel paints uh, and the, that was uh, basically it. So I, I was on the fence about doing decals on this. I was thinking about adding some decals, maybe just like a few here or there. Uh, and then I decided, no, I think I'm just gonna keep it nice and clean like that without any decals on it. Um, I'm sure I'll probably get another one of these kits and paint another one up. Uh, at some point because I do really enjoy it. Actually, the orange version, yeah, I am planning on getting the orange version. That should be out coming up uh, pretty soon. Not this orange version, but the uh, actual kit from Kotobukiya. There's the uh, orange and blue versions uh, that are coming out, I think, this month. So actually, those should be here pretty soon. So on that one, I don't necessarily have a plan for that quite yet, but I'm sure that will probably involve some decals. I do want to try this, uh, try painting this kit again and then add some decals and things on that as well too. So I probably will next time. But for this one, yeah, I just wanted to keep it nice and super clean. Uh, I really love how the camo ended up turning out. Feeling very lucky uh, that I uh, didn't really get any leaks in masking tape or anything. I was trying to be very careful with that uh, just to make sure that everything stayed nice and super clean. I think it came out pretty well. I don't really uh, have much experience with camo, so I don't really know too well about like how that's really supposed to look as far as like the orientation of the pieces and stuff, but I tried to make it pretty random while also like keeping a, a kind of a good flow in mind as far as like kind of the direction of the parts. So you'll see like on some of the parts, like uh, there is like, there is a sort of direction to the pieces. Like if we have like some long, like kind of long thinner pieces, I kind of made sure they're all like kind of going in the same direction, that sort of thing. So you can see that on a couple of the pieces. So I tried to keep that all in mind and I think it came out really nice. The colors I think look really awesome. That uh, uh, what is it, Nazca Frost Matte Black for the kind of matte black on kind of the underside of the armor pieces. I think that looks awesome and just looks so smooth that that Nazca paint is so buttery. It's always really fun to spray that on there because it just looks amazing which is, as soon as it goes on the part. Uh, so yeah, and the photo etch parts, I think, added a lot of really nice little bits of detail on there. Uh, so those are really nice and just a couple little modifications. I mean, aside from the photo etch parts, all the other things that I really added was just the little smoke launcher on the side and uh, the kind of little extra armor piece on the top. Uh, just those are all just Kotobukiya option parts, so easy enough. And then just pinning it down to the base. Uh, on the arm that's going down, I did put some glue on the joints to make sure that that will stay up and not like over time if the joints loosen or something like that, it could start falling down. So I did glue the joints on that arm, so that's pretty much fixed in place there. And then just took a uh, brass rod, just a three millimeter, so it's pretty thick. A three millimeter brass rod up in there from the base up into the wheel so it can stand up like that and that's pretty much it so simple enough uh, but super fun kit i really enjoy this kit highly recommend you guys check it out uh, i know like getting kotobukiya kits cannot always be easy for some of you guys in certain parts of the world and especially they can be you know expensive compared to bandai kits so I understand there's a little bit of hesitation there, but I mean, if you guys can get your hands on one, definitely check this kit out. Uh, it's simple, but it's a lot of fun to just kind of play around with, even if you don't end up painting. If you just want to have it just to play around with on your desk, it just makes for a nice little 
this kind of companion toy to just kind of keep around. It's really, really cool, really fun. If you check out my review if you guys haven't seen that. Uh, I did do, of course, the full review on this kit when it first came out. Uh, there was a couple of Steam Leinster moves. I guess I should mention this as well, too. There's a Steam Leinster move on the head and on the legs, but that was, again, pretty simple because they're just, uh, you know, big shapes that don't really have a lot of detail or anything on there. So just glue, sand, easy enough to just prepare this kit to, for painting. And then you just off to the races. So really fun kit. I do really, I mentioned this before, but I really want to do, I think it would be really fun to do a contest uh, with these kits. But I'm not sure, again, like how many of you guys are actually getting these kits. I don't want to do a contest and then find out that like we only have like a dozen entries because, you know, there's just not that many people actually buying these kits. I know that there are, but I'm just wondering how many of you guys are getting these kits or have one or plan to get one and would like to have a contest regarding these. Sort of similar like what we've done in the past, just like with the Notch in Tank kits or something. Just it would be a contest on just uh, customized Tamatu kits here, just the customized versions of these kits. I think it'd be a lot of fun and it'd be cool to see what you guys come up with. They're kind of very wide open as far as the creativity goes with them, so I think it'd be really cool uh, to see that. But uh, just let me know what you guys think about that if you would be interested, and that way I can kind of get an idea of, you know, what the likelihood of how many people would actually join in such a contest. Uh, one last thing that I will, I guess, uh, mention that I've not mentioned yet too is that I did also add a clear pieces in there for the eyes and the head. There are clear pieces for like the um, sort of like headlights and tail lights, I guess, as they are, kind of the big lights on the front and back. Uh, but there aren't clear parts for the actual eyes. I added those in. Those are just also um, Kotobukiya or Wave, I think. Maybe they're Wave, like a clear option parts so you can get them for like just a clear option uh, camera lens parts and stuff so I have red ones green ones and plain clear ones and I just opted for plain clear seeing as how the other kind of uh, clear parts on this kit are just plain clear and I thought about painting those as well too but I decided to just keep those clear and then so I just made the eyes clear as well too Anyway, that is going to be about it for this. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for watching. Of course, if you wanted to check out these kits, uh, you can check out USA Gundam Store or anything else, Kotobukiya or Bandai, whatever. Uh, the link to USA Gundam Store and the coupon code for you guys to use there to save 10% off are both down in the video description, as always, so check that out. Until next time, guys, thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you all later. Have a good one. Bye, guys.